One thing that was really funny is uh, the Trump's true social, which is sort of slated to come out. <laughs> Apparently, they released their you know, big statement or whatever. Mm -hmm. And Trump's truth social developing content moderation practices to ensure family friendly community. So how fucking funny is that? If truth social comes out and that is the most censored platform, <laughs> like makes fucking, it makes Twitter look like 4chan. Yeah. I mean, he, he kind of, you know what? This is one thing I actually didn't really consider when he came out with this, but he has so many people who are so against him that they're going to like to own Trump be like, yeah, I'm just going to post all this child pornography. Well, that's what they try. Thing. That's the, that's what they're sort of saying is they think that people are going to do all that. However, um, the, if this is the thing that's already illegal. Yes. So there's a big difference between places being like, we're getting rid of illegal content mm -hmm. and we're making it family friendly because like it's already illegal True. to post child porn right so right. that excuse didn't really make that much sense that's true that's true so it's kind of like the thing is all the but people, he wants to legit make it family friendly like so well, no, it's family no, friendly live boning yeah yeah so no nudity <laughs> right yeah no swearing no swears but <laughs> this is <laughs> the thing right so you you think they won't they won't show biden calling that guy a dumb son of a bitch no they would have to believe it, it out well i don't know it sounds like they're gonna go like the tiktok route because it is, but the, this is what they this is what they argue, right? We're getting this in like a couple of weeks too, right? Oh, they said you can pre-order it, which is fucking amazing. Pre-order an app, <laughs> pre-order a free app. Yeah, you're at the point where you're pre-ordering True Social. The best is you know people who are fucking like on his email list or whatever. Yeah. He sends thirty emails a day. That's what. Yeah, I it's heard that. Fucking crazy. Our buddy sent that. Yeah. Our buddy sent that, but then our buddy Johnny was also showing me the other day because he's on it and he's like, he's like, I'm on them both or whatever. And he's like, the Dems are all like, you know, we need to like save the country. And then Trump's all like, yeah, it's like if you, uh, if you donate now, it's like, we'll do an eight times bonus. It's like a gambling website or something like the way they like treat it. We're like, yeah, it's like, a, you know, just in the next, he's like, do you not care about freedom? And there's like all a lot caps of that. and like really boomery. Yeah. But the, the even funnier part was to me when I saw those emails, was that he's raising the amounts of money was like Trump who just did the true social, which was like, you know, has so much capital right now. And yeah. he's always claiming that he's rich. It was, it was these emails being like, we're trying to raise 50 grand for something. Yeah. It was like all these like pretty small. I don't even really money. know what the money goes for. I guess his rallies. Cause I guess he's still doing the rallies and stuff like that. But yeah, pre-ordering true social be insane, but it's, it's almost like uh Trump uh, <laughs> isn't what he was saying. It was, yeah. you know, but he goes, uh, he, he's like a con dude he gets everyone to fucking pump money into truth social for a SPAC and then it comes out and he goes we're gonna be like the most censored site <laughs> yeah the, you know what the and you know what it's almost like he just wants to do the other way around where he goes yeah yeah and Jack Dorsey's banned before it even started. <laughs> he just it's all like this big long like Hollywood it's a lot of revenge where he gets Jack Dorsey's handle and he just makes it a piece of shit yeah <laughs> Dor you can't you can't Dorsey's handle is owned by Trump and it's just like you know what I mean um he's just not handling his banning very well yeah well I I sort of saw a few things that were sort of funny about this but the first one he was like he Noon's doubled down on the point reminding the true social will be open for all ideas all political debate from the left and the right so this is kind of what they say they're like no 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 we basically we don't we you can do we, we don't have misinformation policies but you know all the other stuff that's so only misinformation why do you think anybody on the left is gonna go <laughs> on the truth well, social? That, exactly that's the funny part it's like, <laughs> like what is your value <laughs> proposition for anybody on the left that's what other I'm than saying. come over here and fight with us like, come fight <laughs> who the fuck they're like we're fine fighting on twitter who the fuck on earth that is like super left wing like nancy pelosi in her bio like fucking is going yeah. over to truth yeah. social just to get your handle that was that was my favorite but i have so i personally have a feeling it's not going to get back it's not going to get a ton of people from the left i mean you can follow me at, at any jokes on truth they, it's not like you know they won't even live like in his hotels or whatever you know no. what i mean I, oh yeah maybe yeah. that's worse but they're ba so basically they're just saying no misinformation so it's like the left wing people who the only thing you know, their biggest thing is misinformation. They're like, yeah, but if you come over here, there's going to be uh we don't care, but we don't care about misinformation. So if you were a left wing people person, you'd be like, so it's basically Twitter, but more information and all right wing people. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's, it's 
Sounds like worse than Twitter. But well, again, just, just, starting any sort of new new app like this is really well. This is bad. what the Gab guys having this problem. They all have this problem because they all go. You know, it's a free for all here, and then they all kind of realize that if they want this business to be profitable, it's impossible to. You well, know, that's have like Getter. Like, isn't everybody's like with Getter? They're like, are they already kicking people off of Getter? And yes, stuff so stuff? they all do it immediately. Yeah. Well, they all have this idea of what it's going to be, and then they f- are faced with the reality that every other one has been. But like, they were also about lying. It. They the reason they're saying they want to be a free speech platform is because there's a market share that's in, that likes mm. free speech. Yes, like there's a bunch of people that go, "I don't want to be on fucking being censored," and they go, "Oh, we can you know be the freedom site." freedom.com get all these people but then when they get over there they go they do the same thing as the other people they go well now that we have them here like let's try to make money off them and we can make more money off them if people aren't yelling the n-word on our site or whatever it is yeah i mean there's not even an issue with the n-word though it is really crazy though that like especially in hindsight now we're away from it with with twitter how they just straight up were like yeah you like can't talk about the hunter biden stuff nuts like that that when they made it you couldn't repost the article remember that where they're like you Mm -hmm. couldn't even repost it that's right stuff. before the election. So they're that like, what the? so on Truth Social, they're not going to be censoring that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. But like, great. Well, it doesn't matter. Damage is done. Well, but the fact that Twitter is like because Twitter doesn't even seem to be really. I guess Twitter. So maybe things could go viral on there that are getting censored everywhere else. Yeah, like Robert Malone can have a, an account on. Well, that is true though. If they censored, you know, if like Twitter and Facebook and Google all got together and censored one, and then there was one big one, at least the articles would be fucking. Yeah, the going person viral could have there. somewhere to go. <clears throat> So the the Hive co founder like Telegram or yeah, something. this guy's working with them that built the AI model for True Social to offer content moderation to post to ensure sexually explicit content was taken down and posts that include violence, bullying, and hate speech and spam never make it to the platform. So seems like it's back to square one for the Patriots. Yep, <laughs> yep, back to square one. Gab, no good. Getter, no good.